Thank you for joining me in another Saturday episode of Clay Cam, where we bring you low quality entertainment for even lower costs. I want to say thank you for spending a few minutes with me. If you don't mind, subscribe, like, send me some money in the mail. It'll be a fun day in isolation. Can't wait to get it going. I also want to say that I like stayed up really late again last night, but I got up really early. I look sleepy, don't I? I got up like 7.30, did my normal ritual, you know, got coffee, did all that normal stuff, and I'm probably gonna have to take a nap today, but we're gonna try to keep on going. Yeah, powerful. Walking in the town as I cut across the park. It's rainy every day, maybe I should build an arc. See you with your friend group, lonely like I always am. Gave a silent wave, but... Spring is in the air, if you couldn't tell by my stuffed up nose. And look at all that pollen looking stuff there up on the roof. Beautiful greenage. Beautiful greenage all around us, all around us. <laughs> we'll start out the morning by getting a little bit of exercise. Got mama's bike right here. We're gonna get, oops, gonna get out in the street and do a little bit of bike riding, a bit of blood pumping, enjoy this beautiful weather. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Praise the Lord. I'ma put an end to that. I'ma start some shit. I'll put a. You just said his tires flat. Let's see if we can hear it up. What it takes. I'm sick of being alone. No longer I'm away. I just want to chat Maybe we can talk when we both walk back Side by side on the sidewalk Feeling nervous If you end up mind me and you will look perfect There's one thing I lack, it's getting good cardiovascular uh, exercise and I can't really run that good because I got back problems So riding a bike is better because it's less compression on my spine When I was 25 I had a back surgery called a laminectomy They go in there and shave off a little bit of your disc Because I started having pain down my sciatic nerve And it turned out being a really good thing it helped my back for a really long time, but as I get older, I know it probably would only be a matter of time before I have to have another one. That's cool, little neighborhood experiment. We're one of two Nelsons that live here. They're a lot more awesome Nelsons than we are, though. I got an idea. Everybody's out being productive this morning, so. I'm gonna get my blower and do some blowing and be productive with everybody. And and at some point today, I do plan on pressure washing my back porch. Hopefully I can edit it in a way to where it's fun for you guys. All right. I guess the only problem is gonna be trying to film while I'm doing this blowing sequence here. Me and you would look perfect. You could keep me by your side like a purse's purpose. This Diane's about to do a little bit of a bush hogging here in the pasture. Might be a little bit soft, but she is a country girl. And country girls can't survive out here in this part of town. Everybody wanna talk about your attitude, but that more that wicked zoom. Oh, that is warm water. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I love about Miss Diane. She comes up with better ideas than me. It's amazing how good that exercise makes you feel. When I woke up this morning, I was feeling pretty, pretty tired. But I feel good now after the bike ride. Okay, now we're quickly transitioning into a uh, water fight. I think. Pretty boy. Walking in the town as I cut across the park It's rainy every day, maybe I should build an arc See you with your friend group, lonely like I always am Gave a silent wave, but I don't think you noticed it Thinking of what happened as I continue my walk I grew up in this town, but somehow I'm feeling lost Wishing I was cool, why does everybody feel? It's been a hot minute since I pressure washed the back patio, so that's what's next. It's time I quit this word around town that you hard to get. I'm gonna put it Pollen is kind of starting to subside a little bit, honestly, but there's still a lot of pollen underneath here. Glad I'm washing it down for sure. That I'm gonna start some shit. I'll put a spark in it. Yeah, I don't care what it takes. I'm sick of being alone. No longer I'm away. Yeah, I just want to chat. Maybe we can talk when we both walk back. Side by side on the sidewalk, feeling nervous. If you end up mind me and you will look perfect. Yeah. Well, I pretty much got that done now. How am I gonna do now? I'll let you get Kind of wonder what I'm doing too, huh, bud? Me and you would look perfect, you could keep And this day has turned into a really productive spring cleaning day. Purpose, I'ma find that with you. Everybody wanna talk about your attitude, but that's why I can see through all the problems. Seeing your priorities, I know I'm at the bottom, I promise that I wouldn't lay down just for a minute, and uh, dude, I almost fell asleep. And I know that if I lay down for any length of time at all, I'm gonna fall asleep. So I totally am, and she's like, let's work out. I'm pretty sure that's gonna be a good idea. 
For those of you who don't know, Leanne works out like every day and has for like the past 10 years. She is a workout machine. Like as far as back goes, she's probably a lot stronger than me. But as far as, uh, she ain't got me there, no. Walking in the town as I cut across the park. It's rainy every day, maybe I should build an ark. See you with your friend group, lonely like I always am. Gave a silent wave, but I don't think you noticed it. Thinking of what happened as I continue my walk. I grew up in this town, but somehow I'm feeling lost. Wishing I was cool, why does everybody fit? And trying to make friends so long, it's time I quit this. Burning. How many have you done? Probably like six. I don't think so. Word around town that you hard to get. I'ma put an end to that. I'ma start some shit. I'll put a spark in it. Yeah, I don't care what it takes. I'm sick of being alone. No longer I'm away. I have a confession to make. I am much more out of shape as far as like lifting weights goes. Uh, probably pretty much as far as anything goes than Leanne. So I'm pretty much done. I'm gonna let her finish her out her sets and I'm gonna just watch her. I'm telling you, man, she has been dedicated. She's she's one inspiration for me to make these videos every day, every single day, because like she does, she works out every day. Well, not every day, but like you know, every day that's safe to work out. You gotta work out and then get your rest and all. But she's been doing it for a long time. She's stout, man. I didn't realize how strong she was. On a serious note, though, y'all, I wanted to I wanted to just acknowledge that there's a lot of people hurting out there, whether it be economically or health wise, and whether it be somebody that's losing a loved one or somebody that's about to lose a loved one or somebody, somebody that's extremely ill or maybe struggling in their finances due to everything that's been going on. But I just wanted, wanted them to know that I'm, I'm thinking about them and I, I truly, I'm truly concerned with them. And there's been some people affected that are close to us here recently and I'm, I, I'm just, uh, I got them in my thoughts and prayers and I just, I just didn't want to end this episode without saying that because it just seems like every every day we have some new news or you know there's there's uh, somebody else that we that we know that's that's hurting or losing a loved one or just going through some sort of trial or tribulation and I guess the older I get the more that I understand empathy and the more that I understand uh, how empathy can affect us and how we how we how, how it affects how we deal with others and. Somebody asked me the other day, uh, you know, how, how how come I'm so nice to people and how come I, I've, I've been so successful in business and uh, done certain things in my life. And my answer, and this was just reflexively, was I, I approach everything with empathy. I approach everything uh, considering that I was in that person's shoes and that is absolutely my stance. You know, because I've been, I've been through some things in my life that, that, uh, that really brought me to my knees, and until I went through them, I didn't understand uh, how how certain things could affect others. And it really gives you perspective on what somebody might be going through, and just to always just approach them with empathy. Sorry about that. This is this is a fun vlog, and thank y'all for watching, man. This is uh, episode 71 of Clay Cam. We're in West Monroe, Louisiana. I'm Clay Nelson. I'm a contractor. This is my daily vlog. Every day, I'll be here making videos for you, having fun, bringing positivity to your TV screen, or like your cell phone, probably your cell phone, I guess. I'm gonna end the vlog there, try to get the edit done a little bit early, that way I can get in bed at a decent time and wake up at a decent time and get my get my sleeping schedule back on track. But y'all, thank you for watching. I gotta go. I just need one chance. Yeah.